channel. If you guys don't know who I am, hi, my name is Patty. It has been such a long time since I made a video. So it's probably like October of last year. Um, obviously because of the um, title of the video because I'm pregnant. Um, and I had just been feeling so out of it. My first trimester was like horrible for me. I am now 21 weeks and I do feel better but I have just been trying to just manage my life with two kids, a dog and now actually a puppy. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been it's been a wild ride but I kept telling myself to do a video and all this and that and I just did it and I miss it. I totally miss it. Um, so yeah, on Saturday um, I got an ultrasound, actually, Monday I got an ultrasound yesterday, um, for the gender of our, of our baby. We're gonna find out on Saturday, it's gonna be something, like, totally small, just, like, obviously me and my fiancé, um, his mom and dad and, like, my mom, that's, and his brothers and sisters and my brothers and sisters, that's, like, the only people that are gonna be there. So, yeah, let's jump right into the video um, for the old wives tales right here. So I got some questions. So the first question is morning sickness. So it says that if you were really sick, that means it's a girl. If not really, that means it's a boy. So to me or for me, it's a girl because I did get morning sickness. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what this baby is going to be. I'm actually really, um, uh, what's the word? I'm really curious because with, I have one, one girl and one boy and the symptoms with both of them were like the same. And this pregnancy was just like totally, completely different. They gave me all kinds of things, all kinds of symptoms that I did not even have with them at all. So, I'm excited. <laughs> um, question number two, sweet or salty cravings? If it's, if you crave sweet things, it's a boy. If you crave salty things, it's a girl. So I do crave more salt, more salty things than sweet things. Um, yeah, I eat chips. I eat just more chips than usual. I, I never really eat chips, but I do eat chips like every day with my Valentina. But yeah, that and then the third one is the Chinese calendar. I'm going to show you guys here. So the Chinese calendar, um, I'm using my phone to record, so I can't really show you guys the little calendar, but you guys can definitely just, you know, look it up and it's going to show you like the little, like the chart. So for me, the Chinese calendar um, showed that it was a boy. So right now girls are winning so I got two girls and one boy here. The fourth one is the Mayan the Mayan gender prediction. This one was pretty interesting. So this one is based on the year of conception and the mother's age. So if they're both odd or even, it's a girl if one is odd and one is even then it's a boy so the year conception was last year 2020 and then i'm 24 years old so they're both even um so that means it is a girl a damn girl is winning and i have a feeling that it is gonna be a girl i don't know why i have a feeling that it is gonna be a girl with my well with my oldest a girl and with my um, with my boy, I didn't really know, you know, how some mothers have the, um, like, just like that intuition or like, ah, oh, what's the word? I can't talk, by the way, like, all my words are just like, I can't, I can't even talk, like, and I forget what I'm gonna say, even if it's something so random, I mean, not random, but so, like, simple, like, I wanna say, like, dog food, like, I have to, like, think about it, I'm like, wait, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Anyways, um... See, now I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, let me go to the next question. <laughs> um, number five. If I'm carrying high, are you carrying high or low? So if you're carrying high, that means it's a girl. If you're carrying low, that, that means it's a boy. I think I'm carrying high. And don't mind my my shirt, my son. 
like drool so on me with my freaking your... thing. Hold on, Carmen. Um, so I think that I'm carrying high. Let me scoot back so you guys can kind of see. And he drew me here, but I didn't want to change, so <laughs> whatever. Um, this is my belly, guys. I think that I'm carrying high. I mean, right now it looks kind of low, though. But usually it's like way up here. I think it rounded out now. A little more. Cara, you're moving the, the thing, please. Where's that blue when you like turn this way? Do I look like when you um, I guess right now I'm going to say low. Because it looks slow right now. But <laughs> usually... Usually it's not. It's actually, it's, it has, it has been high. It has been a weird belly. Um, damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Um, so at that one I'm going to say a boy because obviously right now at this moment it looks low. Alright, so this one I thought it was pretty interesting too. The breast size. I haven't seen anybody see or talk about this in like their gender prediction. Um, or like old wives tale. Um, like questions and stuff. So, um, it's the breast size. So, it says that if your right breast is bigger, it's a girl. If you're... L oh, I'm doing this backward. Hold on. <laughs> if your left breast is bigger, it's a boy. If your right breast is bigger, it's a girl. Um, this one is interesting, like I said, because, I mean, one breast is always bigger than the other one. You know, slightly bigger. Um... But with this pregnancy and it didn't happen with with my other ones like like i'm telling you this pregnancy like i have no idea like what it even is gonna be because the changes that are happening to my body are completely completely different than both of them so my left boob is way bigger like humongous compared to my right one and it looks so funny <laughs> like I can't, I can't deal with it. It's, it's, I look in the mirror and I'm like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I don't know, it's funny. Belly. So, the last one. Oh, boy. I thought, I think that one's funny. Two boys. <clears throat> girls that we need, girls I don't know if girls winning. are winning. Let's see, one, two, three girls and one, two, three boys. So we're even right now. Let's see the next one. So how stressed is mom? Ugh. So if you're more stressed than usual, that means it's a girl. If you're not really stressed or, you know, normal, that means it's a boy. Ugh, I have been so stressed with this pregnancy. And with my other two, like I said, like I've been normal. Um, yeah, but with this one, I don't know if it's because I have two kids, a dog, and now a puppy. Like... Oh, and you're tired of taking care of us. I'm not tired of taking care of you, but it can be like ba, 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 da, da, bring ba. it from here to like all the way down here sometimes. <laughs> Alright, okay. so the next one is emotional. I put emotional. So if you're moody, that means you're a girl. If you have chill vibes, that means it's a boy. I am moody. I have been so moody and I feel so bad for my... For my boyfriend because I've been a psycho lately and I just tell him I'll be like just let me be psycho for five minutes five minutes sorry guys my kid dropped some water but um anyways <laughs> yeah that number eight I just tell him just let me be psycho I'll get over it give me some food you know rub my feet I don't know do something and I'll be cool <laughs> Um, so the next one, I thought this one was was pretty interesting too. I haven't seen anybody um, like talk about this. So this one is cold feet. So if you have, I guess, really cold feet, like how to wear socks even in like the summertime, um, it means a boy. If your feet are like, you know, normal, I guess, it's a girl. This is interesting as well um, because like before I was pregnant, my feet were always cold. Like, I would wear socks during the summertime when I'm in the house. In the house. I'm not going to go out because I live in Las Vegas. But because my AC is on and, you know, all that. But um, now my feet, I guess, are more sweaty. I can't stand socks. I cannot wear socks. Like, I'll wear socks for a little bit. 
but then I just I take them right off like I can't deal with them so I guess they would be normal in this case maybe a little sweaty but girl all right so food at reversion so if you hate your favorite foods that means it's a boy if you have just like normal food or you know if it's if you feel normal <laughs> uh that means it's a girl so for this one i would say boy because i wouldn't say i mean i eat chicken right i chicken is a part of my like literally everyday life i eat chicken all the time i can't stand chicken um i can eat a little bit of chicken now here and there but in my first trimester i couldn't even touch it I couldn't cook it. I couldn't even look at it, like, because I would throw it. Mommy, Not as bad anymore. Hold you're on, baby. saying the same thing. And what? then, um, so yeah, bad as a boy. So then, the last question I have here is the baby's heartbeat. So if it's less than 140 uh, beats per minute, it's a boy. If it's more than 140 beats per minute then it is a girl so with this one i'm gonna um i'm gonna put down girl because i had my ultrasound on monday so today's wednesday so i had my ultrasound on monday and she said it was 153 uh beats per minute before that she, i think she said it was like 156 or 158 i can't really remember and then the Time before that, I know for sure that it was in the 160s. I just can't remember exactly what. So definitely, definitely more than 140. So that is Team Girl. So let's see who's winning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven girls. Hold on, baby. Seven You're moving it. Girls? And what one, comes after seven? two, three, four for boy. So girls definitely won seven out of the eleven. Seven out of the eleven. Anyways, what's after so, seven? You should know that. Hold on, baby. Um, eight. And so I still have to do the ring test. Um, obviously I have to do that with my this child see this is why i'm stressed out i'm moving my damn camera um dude this looks so <laughs> don't mind that i didn't want to change okay guys i didn't want to change um i have to do that with him so he has been working a lot a lot a lot so i'm either gonna do it i don't know quite yet if i'm gonna do it in the, at the end of this video probably friday so I can just edit the video and upload it and then so I can obviously show you guys um, the gen obviously the gender reveal that's gonna be small um, or I might do it that same or on the next video with the gender reveal like before we find out I might just like boop 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 have him do it real quick because I know that he's gonna be off um, that day so I guess that we shall see um, you know what I just made up my mind. I'm going to do it on the next video. Like right before the next video. Because I heard that that one is like the most accurate one. God, I'm, yeah, you're moving my freaking camera, dude. <sighs> See what I got to do with? Um, so yeah. This is the end of the video. <laughs> I hope you like my little old wife tail and my annoying child. Yeah, say bye. Because you're moving my camera too, too much. Um... Bye. Yes, yeah, say bye. This is the end of the video now. I hope that you guys liked it. And I gave you some good ideas for you guys to do your own, um, like, old wife's tale or, like, gender prediction. Because some of them were pretty, pretty interesting. So, yeah. See you guys in my next video. And I can't wait to find out the gender and to share it with all of you guys. Martina is going to tell us what the Yes, her is. tío Martín is going to tell us. Alright guys, <laughs> bye! Bye!